Hey guys, what's up, Finley here, and so I've, I've switched to PFSense today, so we've upgraded our internet, and the 100 megabits that my old router was capable of providing just wasn't enough. So I switched to PFSense, so that I could use gigabit on the um, WAN side of it. Now, I don't have gigabit on the, um, like, to my ISP, but it's still better than the 100 megabit. So, yeah, it's 150 uh, in 15, if you didn't notice, in uh, one of the posts, which I'll um, probably uh, put somewhere if I don't forget. So, I always um, access my servers by going through stuff like hawking.local for my hawking server. Except, I didn't know how to set it up, so I've scratched my head for a good hour or so over this, until I figured it out. And I'm gonna show this quick tip to you. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is go to our services, and then our DNS resolver. So if you don't use the DNS resolver, you can do it the same in Forwarder, but I'm just using this resolver, as that's the new thing. So under here you find the host overrides. Hit add. And then make your name, your host, like Hawking. And for your domain, you want to have your top level domain. So if it's like um, finleydageek.nl, it will become hawking.finleydageek.nl. If it will be just that local or local, without the dot in front, it will be hawking.local. Remember, it will add the dot between the host and the domain automatically. Then we enter the IP. And we hit save. We hit apply changes. Wait for it to load. All changes have been applied successfully. Now when we look it up, it will be there. So thanks for checking out. I hope you guys enjoyed this little uh, quick tip. If you did, hit that like button. If you didn't, hit the dislike button. And tell me what you disliked about it. Please remember to subscribe. And I will see you in the next video.